Hey guys, this is Suspawn, and welcome back to episode 24 of my Roman Search from 2.5 Pontus campaign. And, I'm gonna go ahead and start the script here. Now, we had a couple of crazy battles last uh, video that really whittled down our armies a bit. So, Pergamon is quite a bit weaker here than it is before, or than it was before, but so are we. And,. Looks like they've got a little bit of an army here. I think we're going to go ahead and try to take that out here in just a moment. We don't really have much money, so we can't really build anything. I think all our troops are moving towards being what retrained is? and whatnot. As much as we can, at least. So, I don't think there's much to do but fight this battle. We're going to leave them there just to defend the city for now. I think we should be more than capable of taking this army out here, so... Sir. Let's get to it. Destroy them. And I definitely want these guys to just stay in the city here. So, I should take care of that. Alright guys, slightly different um, lineup than usual just because of my different army composition. But I've got my three units of Therakitai here, just forming my center. It's uh, defensive troops, they're just gonna sit there. And I'm going to have my Thracian Pazoi try to be flankers here with some reinforcement infantry and or, uh, skirmishers behind it. Archers in the middle. The rest is pretty much conventional, so let's get going. They are back in that corner it looks like, so I will potentially disrupt my flanking plan a little bit. But it looks like they have their phalanx, at least for the moment, kind of all packed in here, which is very good for us. If they just kind of try to push through our center, that'll play right to our hands. If they spread out on the other hand and make us fight them along one continuous front, that could be rather annoying. But uh, it looks like they have deployed about as far as away can, as you can get from me, so I'll just come back to you when we're a little closer. Alright guys. I'm close enough now that the battle could start. Any second here, depending on if the AI is going to be silly and send out individual units like it likes to every once in a while. I think they might be, but we're just going to keep advancing. And either way, we should have the fighting going pretty units good here. Forward. And they are just kind of staying in their previous formation besides these little sacrificial lambs they're sending out. I'm going to stop right about here just because that'll give me enough room to hammer and anvil them without worrying about being countered. Assuming they make up their mind about what they want to do. I'm going to go and get some shots in the Zagon just because they are soft targets here. Get some easy kills. I could shoot them in the back, but I already picked my target, so oh well. And honestly, a javelin volleys probably more likely to cause serious casualties than just a depleted infantry unit. And then just a few volleys should more or less take care of these guys pretty easily. Those loose formations slowing down my kill rate a little bit it looks like. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to turn fire will off here. Now that we backed them up, let's go ahead and try advancing to about here. What in the world is going on? Okay, stop, please. You guys, just get here. What are you doing? What is going on? I have no idea how that happened. But let's try to get everyone back in formation and try that again. That was weird. Okay, now everyone seems to be moving in concert. That's so weird. I had everyone selected the same, so I'm not sure what happened, but... Moving on. Check out the army really quickly. Lots of levy pikemen here. But they should be pretty prone to mass routing. So, we shouldn't have to fight them to the death or anything. Looks like they have some of that, uh, yep, Phrygian heavy cavalry here. Just some depleted heavy and light cav on this flank. I'm gonna have more or less total cav superiority in this battle, which is good. If flanking is going to be a key to my tactics, especially. 
I'll run these guys forward just to get my center established. We'll turn fire at Will on, try to get a little jump on as we can, if any thrown. Get some nice early kills here. Throw any? Not many. Okay, they're backing up a little bit and we're getting our job on the throne, that's good. Uh, I just kind of want to let them pour in here for the moment. They did have some cavalry hidden over here in the woods. So that's good that that's revealed. I'll know where that is now. I'm going to go ahead and swing all my cavalry over this way to take care of that. Okay, well these are just getting thrashed by these javelins. Let's at least have them throw some back. Here we're going to have our archers target this light cap as well. definitely want these pikes to commit here. I might just have to go engage them by myself, which is fine. Alright, let's take my cavalry. Ready to go. Oh, dang it, they charge after. That unit's basically dead. Let's bring him back. Not gonna matter now, but... I wouldn't be surprised if he just routed. We can train these guys easily at first, so I'm not really worried about it. It's a bit of a tactical uh, mistake on my part, but what can we do? We're just gonna switch targets to right there, hopefully before they can skirmish away. Try to catch them. I should be able to just overpower them with numbers and experience. Okay, good. They're getting ready to commit. There are phalanx in the center here, which is exactly what we want to see. We go ahead and line our troops up like so. And like so. Good. They're not even supporting their cavalry. That's perfect. You guys just go ahead and get here for now. We're going to swing a uh, reinforcing infantry right around this way just in case we need them. And the archers are going to head to the flanks as well so we can get some fire arrows going on these guys. Oh yeah, that is so perfect. They're just going right to my center. Uh, just to make on this, I will murder them easily. Get my archers on fire mode. You guys to right here. Alright, go ahead and attack them. You guys go ahead and take these guys out really quickly. You guys fire right here. And now this should be hopefully chain route sooner rather than later here. Well, I might want to reposition here so I can get a cavalry charge in somewhere. You guys definitely reposition to about that. So we're gonna pull you guys back, see if we can't get another charge. Shouldn't take too many casualties from running away, they're just phalanx troops. Levy phalanxes at that. Pull them as well back. Got one unit routing there. Two units. Let's go ahead and get a new a new um, volley going in here. That should help get a chain route going. Just keep 
keep those flame arrows up. You guys can get off guard mode. You get off guard mode. You attack. You guys get over here. Seriously, just cut these guys down. Anyways, we'll get some close-ups really quickly. We're taking some casualties, but this battle's a foregone conclusion. They just played right into my hands. And the only thing that's really getting thrashed is my, uh, starting unit of Rakatai and these guys that got sacrificed to the cavalry. Let's see if we can keep distributing these targets to get more routes going. Perfect. Looks like it might be starting to spread a little bit here. Oh. We got the general. Let's go ahead and just start chucking some javelins in here. Get some more chaos going. And I think we've just about got the uh, whole army routing. Target this last unit with like fire arrows. That should get it routing. Oh, it's the Agimas. That's the only reason why they're not routing. They're the elites right over here. Somewhere like yeah, right there. And they should follow suit soon enough. Even if they don't, it won't matter. It's just one unit. What I am going to do is so we can oh, start chasing them down. I'm going to back off here to let them actually route so I can chase them down instead of fight them to the death where I'll be taking a lot more casualties. And yep, there we go. Now they should all change from fighting to the death to routing here in a second. Let's get out of here. Down to 28 men in that unit. They've uh, seen happier days. Alright, now you should definitely break and start running right now. No reason for you to still be fighting with that there. There we go. The enemy army is in right, guys. Pursue them. I will Drive see you at the results screen. It's a matter of chasing these guys down. Guys, this victory is surely their work, not that of mortals like us. Whew. Alrighty. Well, fairly costly, but like I said, most of these guys, at least the bulk of my infantry here, will be fairly easily retrained, and hopefully we'll be able to take Pergamon out quickly enough that the rest won't matter too much. Assuming they don't start getting tons of emergency armies, which they're yet to get. So, we'll see. Oops, sorry. You guys didn't need to just sit there and stare at the loading screen. I forgot to skip that for a second. Alright. Still got a decent garrison. All of them but Nicomedia do. So I think we're just going to... Ooh, I'd like to keep the experience on them, but I need a whole unit. So you guys go here. I don't have the money to retrain you all right now, so that'll take place next turn. Yes, just Forward. in case you stay right next to that city so you can get reinforcements. I think we're going to end the turn.
I should have checked to see what they were. I have no idea what just went into that city. We'll find out, maybe. Oh yeah, an assassin. Is that my assassin over there? Probably just some general who looks like. Oh, it's definitely one of Pergamon's assassins. I don't think I have any, unfortunately. Something that will have to be rectified now that I've got more money, because they can really wreak havoc with my generals if I let them. Alright, I do like six units of them. And if I'm losing units of Thrakatite, these guys would not go amiss. They're expensive, but super effective. They're just very vulnerable to archer fire. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sure, let's go ahead and do it. They're fun. Why are we playing this with not to have fun? Alright, government determination. We'll wait. Let's see what's going on here first. Nothing too crazy. Now I'm gonna ask some Pergon just book at them building. Pergon built it some troops for garrison. Let's go ahead and get that just so we get some basic training going on here. Tell me I really need to get a ceasefire with you. This is gonna be bit of a bitch to take, but that's not our problem for now. One more turn of inactivity there, which means we'll have time to just Sir. retrain over here, and hopefully Forward. we should have the money to do what we my need. Lord. Sir! Sir! Yes, Stratigos! My lord! Sir! Oops, the very yes, least of these guys in. Good, I've got three more slots Sir. here. My lord! So we'll just yes, send Stratigos. you guys in. Yes, Stratigos. Go ahead and let our general take a break in a major as well for the moment and send you guys. Yes, uh, can you make it? Yes, you can. Just retrain you in Masika. Awesome. Just enough money to retrain that army completely. We can go ahead and grab this force. Yes, minus maybe these slingers and maybe take care of these rebels here. I think that's even worth fighting on the uh, campaign map there. We'll just kill them. Three units. And we'll retrain these guys maybe. Some of them we might retrain. I might disband some. We'll see what happens. I'm actually uh, what I'll probably do is I'll probably use them to take care of those rebels before I do any more retraining or anything with them. Just clean that up a bit. And you guys are Horace. sitting out here. My lord. It's too full for you to go yes, in Stratagon. at the moment. Right. Here we're gonna worry about our many I hear. I forgot about that. Do we relieve it? I think we should. My lord. Do I have the cavalry? My lord. Not really. But you gotta make Sir. two. My lord! Hey. Yes, Stratagon. Okay. I should probably just get a couple more palm iron phalangites for my infantry. I can't really rely on these guys too well against the Armenians. But I don't really have time for the moment, so yes, let's just grab me Sir. some yes, some troops. Orders? Yes, Stratigos. My lord. We're going to have yes, a crap ton of light troops yes, in this army. It's fine though. Yes, Send you guys over here just for the moment. Yes, uh, they're not happy. Okay, we'll send you back. Antioch will hold. It has forts and whatnot. Yes, I think we're going to make a quick save and then fight these Armenians here. 
assuming they stand their ground, which is anything but certain. These Armenians have run. Oh, they won't be able to run this time. They were treated once, and so this time they will have to stay in a fight, which means they should all die. Yeah, their heavy cavalry is not nearly as strong this time as it has been in previous engagements, so we should be able to completely wipe them out here. Bye, Armenia. Alrighty, guys. I actually had to do very little to change my formation when I wanted it from the default. I moved a few things around, namely put my cavalry on the wings and just slightly reorganized my skirmishers, but I don't have much infantry, so I'm going for a very compact formation. That way I can really defend myself a little better. And I'm just going to try to engage them frontally with my infantry and use my light troops and cavalry to take care of the rest. So, pretty standard battle plan here. These Nakarars and Cataphract Archers are not bad at all. They're... As that cavalry is actually uh better than it better than it looks it has they have um axes as their secondary so they get armor piercing and they're pretty fun to use when you're using armenia though i don't know how well they'll use them they're they have their general mix of infantry here eastern spearmen armenian hoplites not our infantry which that will uh suck to fight as that infantry <laughs> Five guys and another Nakara unit. Some Eastern Hillmen or whatever. Skirmishers. Oh. Blanking out of these guys' name. Something or other Spearmen. Anyways, let's triple speed this. I don't think it's even long enough to bother with the cutaway. They're not that far away, unlike their battle with Pergamon here. They are in a bit of a hill advantage, but I'm not too worried about it. It's very slight, and if we're lucky, they'll just kind of charge down at us when we start shooting the crap out of them anyways. Units. Let's just keep on moving forwards here. Units, march. Hmm. Irania is really another one of my favorite factions to play in this mod, so... If they get released as a uh, an expansion room too, I'd love to do a let's play with them on that. Especially if their unit roster is anything similar, they're just amazing in this in this mod. They're not Karars and all the units are pretty sweet. have my slinger screen absorb missiles and whatnot I mean sure they'd be useful on the flanks and I might still use them against these cavalry here but uh I can retrain them super easily to Antioch so I'm not too worried about preserving their numbers so basically how light troops would have been used actually in battle Here's the role. absorb bullets and maybe get a couple volleys off the enemy when they can these guys up here just Units. to support. It's constantly keep my uh, infantry moving their way just so I don't have to sit there and absorb too many missiles. I'm sending them some knockers, which would be... Yeah, if they try to chase me down, that's perfect. I'll just use my uh, my javelins to whittle them down. I don't want to fight them in melee at all if possible. Alright, we're just going to try to swing these skirmishers or uh, slingers this way just because they're also get at whittling down cavalry without sustaining too many casualties. So, the whole casualty thing doesn't really apply at this point, since that's their other primary purpose right now. Alright, we're going to try to get a volley or two off these horse archers, whittle them down, just to hopefully keep me from chasing them down too much. We're being attacked! 
Attack! Don't really have a good position. Let's try to get like right here. Units, units, double hot hand. Units, units, march. We're up. Units, keep my line moving here. Units, forward. Units. All right, we're gonna try to kind of pound these guys a little bit. Just with javelin, but I don't want. Charging yet. Still too strong for us. So heavily armored. We're basically uh, just straight up cataphracts, but with an armor piercing attack. General. Which, unlike vanilla, most cataphracts don't have in this mod. I think they're the only cataphracts that actually have maces in the game. That I know of, at least. Wow, they're getting slaughtered. But they're doing their job. They kind of got the height of him from these horse archers, and they're taking them out a little bit for me. That's all I need them to do. That's good. My pikes are in place. There's Cerise is down. Perfect. Go to guard mode here. You're going to bear the front of the knocker hours. Enjoy. Okay. Switch targets to here. You guys head this way. Sacrifice their cavalry to try to drop my stingers away. That worked out heavily in my favor. I'm going to line my cavalry up right here. Hopefully we can just take those knockers out with one massive charge. Archers, switch your targets over here to these guys. The other cataphract archers, charge while you can. Let's get a close up of this massive charge here. That took care of that. You look cool, but you break up like anyone else. At least when four heavy cavalry units turn in the back, you do. Bearing. Did they charge in? They did. Perfect. You guys go ahead and get up here. Just, oh, these are just archers. I don't care. Hit them in the rear. Oh, let's get skirmish mode off. That's not necessary. Let's just go ahead and get a volley or two right here. Drive their skirmish units off with my cavalry. Close-ups here when we have the time. The gods have filled the enemy general. Get out of the way, dudes! Come on. Now he flees the field like a coward. Okay, good. We got their cataphract arcus routing. It was a general too. Let's go ahead and converge right here. With our cavalry. And try to get some shots, please. Okay, Highlanders. They're routing. Shot right there. Be praised. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. That was the fairly enemy effective. Army is in flight. Pursue them. Drive them from the battlefield. All right. Well, I don't even know if there's a point of skipping past this part. This should take all five seconds. Turn our archers off. Just run the fire here. Wow, our 
Pike line took basically zero damage, leaving them in a nice dense formation like that against light infantry. Nothing's even gonna matter. Especially on even ground like that. That's just asking for a slaughter. You're still alive. What are you doing? guys let's chase down. Units. Units. I'm sure you guys don't mind getting a few extra close-ups at the cost of uh, a couple extra seconds of battle here. Gods really be praised! Fire well this victory surely they work, not that of mortals like us. Well, that was pretty fun. Alrighty, so that's our first Armenian army that I think we really actually got a crush. All the other ones seem to have run away on us. So that's nice. Maybe that'll teach them a lesson about beseeching us. I kind of doubt it, but maybe. If we were really lucky, they'd just go to war with the Seleucids and leave us alone. Alrighty, Spartacus. Take care of these rebels. Oh, you can't. Well, if they're not there or they run away next turn, I'm not going to chase them down. I'll head back to retrain these guys and whatnot. We can't do that, sir. I can't even give them a move order. So, what else is there to do? Don't know that there is a lot to do at the moment. I do have the uh, this fleet with my uh, you yes, know, the Thrakatai here. We'll move, keep sir. heading him back. At your service. We are going to yes. put my spy in with the general here just to keep him safe from assassins. If, wow. Watching over the troops. Oh no, he just got moved. I think. But anyways, I'd like yes, to keep him from getting assassinated if possible. It's a pain. But I think we are good to end the turn. And guys, hopefully we're only a couple episodes away from completely uh, taking Asia Minor for ourselves, and from there on we'll have a lot more freedom of movement. We should have a much greater economic... Uh, oh, two. My diplomat, I'm sure. My diplomats always get bribed. The AI just sits there making money. But anyways, what I was saying, we'll be making a lot more money. And we might be able to move. I think we might go against uh, either either the Seleucids here and the Ptolemies. Or we might go on against Greece. Either way. It'll, uh, both of them are great money makers. Maybe... Greece would get us potentially involved in a lot more conflicts, but it is a hell of a moneymaker, so that might be the way to go, we'll see. It's still a little bit off in the future for us. Alright. I think our next target's definitely going to be Nicomedia. They left it relatively lightly guarded, and we will have our siege equipment here. So let's get our army ready to go. We'll stage it right up here. Alright, oh, these guys are, uh, they take a turn to train, so we're only going to have one of them. That's fine. Let's get up here. We should have one unit slot left. Yep. Perfect. And we're just going to be right on the border here. That way we don't trigger any kind of, uh, Relief Army. Move out. Yes, Stratagos. And next turn we will try and take Nicomedia. <laughs> Alright, sorry, I lost my train of thought there, guys. I had to step away for a moment. Um Okay. What to do, what to do. We just moved him up there. Okay, right. We just started the turn. 
So we've got plenty of money we can build with here. And let's head to Amasia since they are our capital. And let's get some more money flowing in if we can here. I'm going to go and build that. The first stage is okay, but the later buildings of that are pretty darn profitable. And I think we're without a diplomatic in right now. Yep, thanks for those darn Ptolemies. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting another one. It's 6k, so it kind of sucks, but kind of hurts not having a diplomat around, just in case. <sighs> if you wait till you need one to train one in this mod, taking two turns, you're going to miss whatever opportunity you're trying to take advantage of, usually. And... Check how my cities are doing really quickly. They're not the happiest. I could make them an autonomous city. Let me go ahead and give them a Temple of Ares. They only had the shrine. So we'll be able to build some more happiness temples after that's done. So, Let's go ahead and try to you. Okay, yep, yeah, so perfect. Attack. They're done. Some more rebels dead. Glorious victory. You guys head back to Antioch. Sir! Orders! Orders! My lord! Yes, Stratigos. And you guys yes, go inside. Stratigos. Perfect. Okay. The rest of you Orders. just chill on that bridge. Forward. All right. And these guys will yes, just continue Stratigos. killing rebels for the moment. And yep, this army should be good to get back into a Attack. business after training a few more troops here. Attack. See, I could fight them, but we're just going to keep this short and easy here. And they're just rebels, and they will... There will never be a shortage of rebels to fight if I want. Prepare for battle! And we'll Sir. take them out next turn. But for now, let's see. Sir. Got these guys right Orders. here, so that's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, plus a general. So it'll be fifteen total. And we have more than enough cavalry here, so. I think we're definitely going to just focus on getting more infantry. Oops. We only forward one unit of these allied phalangites for a turn. I'm going to go and build another unit of Thraktai as well. And we'll save the rest for next turn. I don't know, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and delay that diplomat because I need to get this going. And that. And one more. And that'll be that infantry back. Alrighty. That's going to put us a little, a little lower on money, but like I said, that'll all pay off once we finish securing this. And... I think we are good. To end the turn, most likely. Let's go ahead and retrain these guys. Any of you guys want to be in charge there? How about you? Why not? March! Onward! No more moves, there we sir. go. If we lose him, he's just a governor or a general or whatever, he's not an actual family member. And that'll help keep that under under control and make a little more money, so. 
I think we'll leave him there to stay for now. And you know what guys, this video has been going on for quite a while, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call it an end here, but I will probably go ahead and record another one after this. So hopefully we'll have a couple new episodes. I know it was almost or around two weeks between the last one. I was rather busy in real life. And, uh, but yeah, it happens. We will keep this going no matter what. I definitely want to finish this before Rome 2 comes out on September 3rd. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next episode.